Hello and welcome to Holden My Digivice. My name is Holden and these are the devices we are running. For those of you who don't know, this is a Digimon uh, content channel. And I really just kind of want to showcase different digital devices like these and kind of do run-throughs. I've been kind of inspired by other Digimon YouTubers, which <laughs> there aren't very many of. And I thought, you know what, I'll try my own crack at it and see if I can just spread some awareness for a really cool niche fandom I'd consider it. Um, for those of you who don't know, Digimon is a franchise that came around the same time Pokemon is usually dismissed by others as a Pokemon clone but ended up being very very different it has a very different origin and we kind of get a look into that but today because these are the 20th anniversary devices and in these um, they have the original V pets whereas Pokemon originated by video games Digimon originated as a extension of Tamagotchi which were uh, V pets that were really big around the 90s and since these are 20th anniversary, we kind of get a blast from the past. Um, but these devices have something special about them. Uh, these are the new 20th anniversary Wave 2s, and they have a secret egg in them. So today, we're going to hatch the secret eggs, and I'm going to do a little care and run through the, run through the devices for you guys. And we'll kind of do a, a, a diary as they age and grow up. And you guys will get to see me take care of these um, on camera. So let's go ahead and get them fired up. I'm going to activate the green one here. And you hit the A and B button at the same time. Let's go over to the unlocked secret egg. There it is. So green is now good. And now we're going to activate the purple. Same thing. Except this egg looks has a little wings on it. So for those of you who don't know, these are the Coronamon, I know, very topical, and Lunamon eggs. And we're going to kind of run through them. So I'm going to actually keep it on enough for you guys so you can watch them hatch. But I do kind of run through a little bit of the fun history behind Digimon V-Pads. Like I said, they were kind of big in the later 90s and uh, eventually got their own TV show, which is where most people's first exposure for Digimon really was. And these, like I said, are V-Pets. So most of these eggs on this device will have branching paths, whereas Pokemon has a very singular evolution path. Digimon have branching paths, depending on how well you take care of them, which is a very fun aspect of the game. Um, if you look on this one here, you can see um, you have different icons, and that is our menu. Oh, we have a hatch and one right here. Oh, wow, look at that. Let's see which it is. This is Peachymon. Oh, other one's hatching too. This is also Peachymon. So first things first, you see that little symbol there in the corner? That means they have need, okay? And their main needs are food and strength. So we're going to give them food. And they have four hearts. And then they have the same thing with strength. You can use vitamins, but if you overuse vitamins... They can get sick. So now, call light is gone. You see there's some poop on the screen from a previous run of mine. We're going to clean that up real quick, make him really happy, and we're going to do the same one on this purple one here. Cleaned it right off. That is one thing I do think is really funny, and maybe to the detriment of Digimon back in the 90s, is the... Uh, the poop puns and design choices for some of the Digimon um, were just a something... You see, the West would call it more crass, and you'd see in Digimon and not really Pokemon. Let's go ahead and take care of Peachymon here. Going over to food. Three, four... There you go, and I'll go finish going through the menus. I'm going to use the green one here because I really like this green one. Uh, it does give you Michelangelo vibes, or um, I've seen other people online comment that it reminds them of, like, ectoplasm, like off of uh, Ghostbusters. But for me, this really reminds me of a the Jungle Green N64 controller, which is the first controller I had on my N64 growing up. And so if we go over here, like I said, you have the menu. You can see the Digimon's name. It's the Sprite. The age and weight, the hunger meter, the strength meter, the effort meter. I'll explain that more tomorrow when we get to rookie level. And then you got DP, which is um, like is a points that you have to use up to fight, uh, which will come in later when they hit the rookie stage. And this is the win ratio in the single battles. This is the win ratio in the tag battles. We're back to the beginning. This is to feed um, vitamins and um, meat to our Digimon. 
Here's a training bag. The Coliseum, we'll access, have access to that when we reach rookie form. This is the clean poop menu. This is to put them to bed. This is to heal them if they get sick. So as you see there, we don't, we're not sick, so we don't need it. This is the encyclopedia, so all the Digimon we get will have access through. So you can see I did a little run earlier, and it'll keep track of what kind of Digimon we get the device. And then over here, we get the connection. And as you can see right now, we can't connect. So that's the thing about Digimon. You kind of have to work your way up to um, battle with them, which is kind of an interesting uh, aspect of them. Whereas Pokemon, no matter what level you are, you can fight. Whereas Digimon, the baby levels, they can't fight. Um, and so this, this one's going to raise uh, into Lunamon. And this one will raise up into Coronamon. And I know they're the baby level. Uh, we probably won't get on camera today, but they will digivolve eventually into um, the... It goes fresh and then in training level. And we'll probably miss that on camera today because that'll happen probably this afternoon. But when we come back tomorrow, they should be rookies or very close to. And I give you guys show you guys how the battle mechanics work. Um, yeah, and that's kind of really it for today. Um, in terms of other things, you know, this channel, we definitely are going to cover V-Pets like these too. Um, but we're also going to be able to have access to Digivices, which are more of the pentameter uh, adventure mechanic uh, Digimon toys, and a lot of them can interconnect, and I really want this to be a, 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 show, a channel where we can showcase uh, different Digivices and V-Pets battling. So this is my first episode. I hope you guys liked it, and uh, have a good one. Hope to see you tomorrow. Bye!